Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome. Very glad that you're here with me today. My name is Alex Cooper. If you haven't been in one of my other classes, let me introduce myself a little bit. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia, the Harlem Library, and of course, the Uchi Creek Now, our brand new Grovetown Library too. I'm very glad that you're here with me today. Now, we're still staying safe and everything, so we don't have any on-ground classes at our library or on-ground programs and stuff, so we're doing everything virtually. So very glad that you're here uh, joining me today. So let's talk about what class we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing our photo printing and virtual scrapbooking. So this month's class, uh, one of the things that we're trying to do is try to focus more on kind of the idea of Christmas, holiday gifts, you know, trying to get something together, trying to make something um, that you would like, you know, maybe to share with friends or family with, something printed uh, for this class. So this class is actually part of a much bigger series of photography, which if you go on our website, you can actually, excuse me, going on the YouTube channel, you can actually see that there's a whole bunch of different classes, photography, uh, getting the pictures off, the, off your camera, editing them. We have a new, we had an updated one last month or the uh, month for last, I'm not sure. The yeah, month for last, where we did a little bit more editing with layers and everything with our free GIMP software. So now we're getting into, we have pictures, we want to print them, then do a virtual scrapbook or photo scrapbook too. And everything I'm going to be talking about is just for my own personal experience and stuff too. So very glad that you're here with me today. Definitely feel free to post any questions that you have into the chat. This is a fun class. It's an easy class. Um, you know, nothing really too much. Mostly we're just talking about kind of um, recommendations and kind of advice for the uh, different products, I guess you could say. So uh, definitely feel free to kind of post any questions you do have in the chat. I'm very happy that if you, of course, you're watching this in one of our, um, like a replay of our videos and stuff, do you realize if you come with our, when our uh, classes are live, we do classes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Do you realize, of course, you can ask questions and I can answer them too. So let's talk about some of the classes that we have coming up for the rest of the month. So any of the classes that you see on here or previous ones are still available on our YouTube channel. Um, you may have to click the live section, but it's available on our YouTube channel. Uh, so tomorrow we're actually going to be doing a Gadget Help on Facebook Live. That'll be Harlem uh, Library's Facebook Live page, so just go to there. And then tomorrow afternoon we're going to be doing a Raspberry Pi Computing Projects with Alex. That's me. So we'll be picking out a Raspberry Project to do from our project list, and we'll work on that. And then Thursday we're going to be doing Let's Talk About Libby, which is our free uh, ebook, free audiobook, digital audio library, and also other things, library resources our, our library has as well. And then Thursday afternoon at 2.30, we're going to be doing App Swap Talk. <laughs> it's a newer, it's one of our newer classes. We talk about apps that I really like, apps I recommend, apps that I use kind of every day and stuff. And of course, you can come along and talk about what apps you enjoy, what apps you recommend to friends and family too. And because it's around Thanksgiving next week, let everybody know we're doing some fun uh, scratch classes. One, let's make a turkey feather catch game. And also we'll be doing internet shopping, digital couponing, and holiday gift ideas. And also eBay, Facebook Marketplace, buying and selling. And then scratch, let's draw and animate a turkey. So we've got a whole bunch of really neat things. And just a little reminder there, Thanksgiving is on the 26th of this month. Just a little side note, and of course we do have a class coming up that'll talk about it a lot more, but just realize that if you are looking for your uh, free uh, library books, uh, free ebooks, free uh, digital audio books through our library, we're not using the RB Digital anymore. We switched over to the Libby app. Um, you can check out more about that on our website. The biggest thing about Libby is install the app, search for Greater Clarksville Regional Library System, not Columbia Community Library or anything. And then click where it says Georgia Download Destination and insert your library card. And there you go. You should be good to go. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library with questions. 
Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right now we're having a subscribe drive. If we can get 100 people to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then we can get our own customized YouTube address. Okay. Or you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and our channel will pop right up. So let's go ahead. So like I said, this is actually part of kind of a series of photography classes. So I'm actually going to kind of talk a little bit about printing and then we'll jump about and we'll actually jump in and do some virtual scrapbooking as well or create a photo book. So let me kind of go through some of the places that I recommend uh, to get stuff printed. I'll tell you about my own uh, printing experience, I guess you could say. <laughs> and there's some also some unique places to get things printed. I know that a lot of people will use, you know, Shutterfly and stuff. Uh, I've heard really good things about that. I have personally used them, but I've heard good things. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, printing off our computer, you know, to begin with. So one of the things is basically we can start with basically printing at home. So let's talk about that to begin with. So you may um, you may have like a Windows 10 computer and let me do one thing. I'll turn that down a little bit. A Windows 10 computer and then basically you're going out you're buying things like photo paper and basically trying to print at home. So let's talk about that. One of the easy ways to do that is Microsoft actually um, has with it an app called Photos. Hang on, let me pull that up, make sure I got it where I want it. <laughs> All right, so we basically have. Um, our app here, we have our pictures that we've kind of collected together, and then we actually want to print our picture. Okay, right now we're going to talk about home printing. Okay, so I basically have a picture. Let's talk about maybe one of our sunsets or something. There, let's choose, uh, I think this one's, there you go. Now, a big one is um, we want to make sure, and let me get get one thing ready here. So basically one big thing is knowing what the resolution of our picture is, okay? This is just kind of a simple chart um, to pull up. And let me go back to where I was. So we basically just kind of have a simple chart here. It talks about the resolutions and everything. Now, in our basic uh, computer, excuse me, basic photography class, we'll actually talk about printing. Um, with, you know what megapixel something is. Mostly, we're looking at the resolution. So here's really where you need to start. Okay. So whatever the pixel uh, dimension is, size of the picture, basically equals to how how uh, big you can actually print it out to be. Okay. So you'll actually see advertisements of some of the websites we're going to go to. We're going to go to Google Photos too and talk about their photo books and also we'll talk about um, the other. We're actually going to go to Walmart later. One of the big things about the Walmart one is it lets us play around, upload, you know, kind of random pictures and then we can actually show that and demonstrate those there. And a big thing is I'll show you the total price at the end. So a lot of folks, something that might hold them back is, oh, well, I only want to give a gift that's about $20 to somebody. Well, that's fine. Uh, photography, something, printing something is an excellent gift. And we'll actually talk about the cost isn't that low either. I mean, isn't that high? Isn't that low? Uh, about $20 or so. Okay. And uh, we've also gone to some of these sites and they're having sales too. And a sale can always help. All right. So basically, we have this really nice chart here. We're talking about our standard uh, print sizes. And one of the things you'll see is printing. You know, we're basically with a lot of our cameras now, we'll actually look at some of our pictures here and see what our resolution is. This actually explains how big we can print something. Now, most things, if we're just printing the size like a four by six, even five by seven, we're in perfect area here. 
and we'll also talk about doing a photo collage uh, later as well. We're all in the right area here uh, talking about getting everything together and uh, let me see I need I need one thing okay okay there it is right there okay so hmm let me see one thing all right I think I can pull that up later okay so the big thing is we're actually going to find out what our resolution is now in our GIMP software which I won't use right now because we're just talking about printing and stuff so we're going to go to a very easy way to print um, at our home and it basically talks about what the resolution is. So if we go back to our free program that comes with Windows, we basically have clicked a picture. It's a nice picture. Ooh, nice sunset picture. This was just taken with um, a cell phone. Not, no, didn't. I think this was just a normal camera one. It's actually going to give us the information. So when I click on a picture, I'll actually go over here and hit the three dots. And then when I go down to file information, so the three dots file information it'll actually tell me what the dimensions of the picture is okay I also will talk about some other things like f-stop shutter speed things we don't really need to know and it actually tells you what device it was so yes this is one that I did take with a camera okay now it's actually 4,000 by 3,000 so if we go back to our chart 4,000 by 3,000 oh you see we can actually blow this picture up actually pretty large now can't we okay 4,000 by 3,000 about we can actually blow this up to 20 by 24 if we wanted to so most sizes that we've got we're thinking about here uh, we're, we're, we're pretty set okay <laughs> I'm pretty set alright so let's go back and basically if I go up here to our print button so we hit print now this will not give us a ton of options and right now I'm not actually connected to a printer with the computer that I'm using right now but if you clicked here you'd actually choose what printer you wanted to go to and then basically you would choose the orientation here's a big one what the size of the paper it goes into talking about all this other kind of sizes letter uh, eight eight and a half by eleven is kind of a standard piece of paper okay also talking about the photo sizes 8 by 10 right now now I'll tell you this a little bit later we'll mess around with a collage a little bit and a big thing with the collage is that you can actually get it to um, you can take a whole bunch of pictures and blow them up well a whole bunch of pictures put it in the collage and then make it you really really like the the results of it and when you can actually just go to a local place or even print it at home if you wanted to and about an 8 by 10 about this big you know about that big sheet of paper good enough to put in a picture frame maybe even got if you want to do this is I'm talking about doing this as cheap as you want go to the dollar store get your dollar uh, uh, frame in there 8 by 10 if you want to go someplace nicer go for it Walmart Target all that places sell nicer picture frames and also you can get stuff printed there as well 8 by 10 is really the easiest one to do if you go any bigger than that uh, then you might have to not be able to print it at home might have to wait a little bit longer most of the places can print there um, pretty quickly less than an hour even at the kiosks if you're going to different kiosks like it like at CVS or Walmart or any place like that uh, the biggest tip I can tell you about the kiosk is uh, basically have your pictures ready <laughs> try not to make it that you're you're uh, messing around with the kiosk for too long but I will tell you, I found out that some of the places that I'm going to talk about them printing the pictures and then shipping it to me seems like they are a higher quality than those kiosks can do. Okay. All right. So we have our 8 by 11 photo size, and we also have our other photo sizes here as well. Here's like 4 by 6, 5 by 7, and of course, much smaller wallet size or something like that. Okay. So. Let's see if I mess around with the wallet. And we click here, we can say more settings. Okay, this, yeah, they've changed it so we only get like one, one setting anymore. 
So when you talk about the more margins, fits, um, the shrink to fit on there, and basically that's how you can just quickly print a, print a picture, cut it out with scissors. Now, if you are gonna be using the uh, photo paper, one easy thing to do is to basically have it so it loads it. And give me a second, let me show that real quick. Now, let me see, here we go. So one of the things is we can actually get a template like from Avery, okay? So if you go to the store and you purchase the Avery paper, and let me get out of the way here, I'm kind of blocking now. If you actually purchase the Avery paper, then you can actually, it'll tell you what size it is and they'll actually give you a template for it as well. This goes for stickers, all kinds of stuff. And basically, it'll usually come with like a number on there. One of the things you can do is you can actually download like a, um, a um, PDF, not a PDF, but you can download like a Word document template. Let's look at our templates here. And it's talking about sizes and all that. There's most popular is the different stickers. Let's see, where do I go here? Find templates is what I want. So basically, you'd enter your product here, and then you could download a template for it. Okay. So they have cards. Here's our cards, file folder, binders, be more, other shapes, fabrics, t-shirt transfers. Let's see other products, all templates. Let's see other products here. Uh, let's see wall decals. Here we go, brochures. Let's see. Hmm, they even have magnetic stuff. Okay, that would be neat. White sticker paper, clear sticker paper, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So basically, you buy what you want it to do, and then they will act, can actually find the template here on their website by typing in the code. Okay. And if we do, like, let's say, a cards, uh, do we have the business cards? Let's see. Here's post um, postcards, which I'll talk about a place that you can actually use your phone and order cards to be printed. There's note cards, let's see, glossy business cards, index cards, let me see, half folded. Let's see, where's my photos? Where's the photo ones? Okay, I guess they're mostly focusing on labels now. Where's my photo paper? <laughs> labels, cards. There it is, greeting cards. All right, so there's like our greeting cards and stuff, half-folded greeting cards, and then it'll basically have a number and you can actually download the template to be able to create your own and everything, okay? And the good part about it is you can actually download a template for, so let's say, cards 3226 on there. Let's see if it'll just show the thing right on here. Oh, it actually has a thing where I can upload. That would be cool. Let's see. Well, that's not what I want. We can see here. There you go, templates. So there's our template right there, and it actually shows me in Word and some other settings as well. But you can do Word, and then you can actually edit it and change it in the, um, well, you know, in Word. So it makes it a lot easier and stuff. Import pictures, editing, and stuff like that. I would actually recommend that versus even them dealing with uh, one of the company's software, uh, you know, solutions that they have. Let's see, so yeah, <laughs> uh, so I just kind of pulled up Amazon real quick. So we have a ton of different 
photo paper options and there's Avery about the the t-shirt one if you don't do that and they have templates that you can download and there's your photo paper right there okay uh, the best thing about that is I can tell you is make sure that your printer has ink in it because you don't want to get in the situation where something happens and you didn't have as much ink as you thought you did okay so make sure that you have the ink that you want okay so we've learned about how to be able to do our home printing um, you know having the photo paper choosing the template that you want to do in your design then basically hitting print making sure you have ink checking the ink quality at the end you definitely want to have your your printer set to best when you do that but if you are going to print at the store it might be easier to put something on a little flash drive take it in that way I've had it where I have thousands of pictures on my cell phone plug in my cell phone then I have to keep searching for those pictures so a little bit of, and it taking a long time a little bit of pre getting your pictures together getting the pictures you want can help out a lot now let's go ahead and let's talk about let's see I'm talking about the photo collage for a second so one second I have something loading <laughs> So one great project is a photo collage. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Now this is uh, photocollage.com. I've used this a bunch. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it's pretty fun. They do have some advertising on here, so we may see some advertising up here. I have my ever I had blocker on right now, but it works fine that way. Um, so let's go ahead and well, I tell you this: uh, some of these websites will actually make you give your email address or something. I haven't had this website do that, and they have lots of templates to choose from, as we can see here, to kind of give us a lot of ideas. Now, my goal with this project is, and I've done this for family in the past. Basically, what we're going to do is we want to save it and then print it as like I was talking about one of those um, 8 by 10 pictures and you can give it to them so I've actually done that um, and you know it's it's you know it's a frame photo people aren't going to get rid of it they display it and the neat part about it is you can you can get this together very cheaply print an 8 by 10 you know less than eight dollars or so I think the last time I did it, it was like six bucks or something but it depends on where you go and then put in a picture frame and because you spent your time getting the pictures together, organizing them, coming up with something like this, it really makes printing it um, really, really easy. Okay, so we've got some pre-made ones on here. Now, I will tell you this. Do you realize that on any of these, and yes, you could use the GIMP as we talked about, the free Photoshop-like software that we talk about in the, the other one. You could use that, but, but this one has the templates already on here. And like I said, when we download it, um, it just lets me download it as a uh, JPEG file okay so I think we're actually going to be doing about four and as you can see it's unique you can also add text to this on here so let's say uh, I actually like this one this is really neat it shows a picture of the person here and then this would be really neat kind of having maybe not pictures of them but maybe some pictures of the things they really like so very customized one this is an interesting one. It makes it look, um, you know, all squarey like this. You need to look through your pictures to see if those are pictures fit well um, with that concept. Now, one of the ones I really like, and the, mostly what I do, is kind of the loose leaf um, ones like this that make it look kind of like an old school, um, you know, uh, Polaroids, which are actually very popular. So let's look at some of our pictures here. These are uh, pictures we use in our photography class. So we have our pictures on here and I basically can resize them, grab the edges a little bit. I'm just doing drag and drop. Now a big one is to choose our background. So let's go in here and where is, give me a second here set background 
click there, it already has some pre-made backgrounds. And sometimes I like, some of these are pretty neat like that. And then you put the pictures in the little squares, okay. Hang on, go back. Or you could choose kind of a blank one if you wanted to. I like that one of the pictures were not very big. Hearts, all kinds of stuff, birthday theme. This would be kind of neat if you kind of know what the, the person's style is, or maybe even what their, you know, if you're going to give it to them and kind of have the idea that they keep it in their, their um, room or whatever. I think this is kind of a neat, I think I chose this one last time. All right, so now we kind of have a wood uh, wood grain in the back. So let's kind of resize our pictures a little bit. And remember, I can actually add a text as well. So I can click up here. I have text on here. And uh, I will tell you this too, any, any of the things that we're doing here, you could actually, okay, thing. I'm trying to move the text around, but it wants me to move the picture. All right. Now it's resized. Yay. Okay. Having it right in the right place. So let's see. There you go. Oh, I typed. Okay. And you can choose your design, your text on here as well. Let's see, I want to be centered. Let's see, color and size. Let's make it a little smaller here. And I think we can give it a little bit of shadow if you wanted to. To make sure, the big course, the big one on here is to make sure that it's legible. So we'll give it a little bit, a light color maybe. And. Okay, hang on here. So you can add a date to something, change it just a little bit, even maybe even make it tilted a little bit, make it a little bit fun. And then get it so we kind of have all our pictures. So, what you think with that? Another thing would be kind of to put in the bottom corner, maybe the year, maybe the date. Maybe you're, this is like a happy birthday. Happy birthday, have the year. Great ideas. If it's someone growing up, have a bunch of pictures from that year, things they did, and then put the year in the bottom corner of it. I know some of that would do that every year for like uh, grandkids and stuff. And it was really neat. So you could actually see things that they had done through the years. And it's pictures, it's still very popular, even if, you know, a lot of the things are on the screens, you can share, but remember, you know, you're, we're talking about printing something out, giving is it a gift, so there you go right there. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now, if we did some of our other templates, it'll automatically change it. If I hit auto collage, it'll move around our pictures too, kind of resize them a little bit. 
and then if you wanted to you could actually change it just a little bit change the border now let's choose a different template like this one here there we go now they look kind of like um where'd my where'd my grandma go there it is it does have layers so do realize that you might have to move uh, some of the layers around so I want grandma to be on top so I gotta move that layer and then put it right there okay so really neat thinking about 8x uh, printing it out to like an 8x10 give it as gift great idea very easy I will say this looked a little stretched just a little bit for some reason may or may not to you All right, so there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's move that up a little bit. Okay, so lots of options on here, all in the browser, being able to save, make changes to anything. Talks about, uh, let's see, the guidelines. Yeah, okay, swapping out pictures, and stickers and stuff, and extra little stuff if you wanted to. It does have emojis on here, <laughs> which may or may may or may not like I don't know maybe you're being silly and you're gonna post those in there that would be depending on what kind of picture you're gonna print let's see you got stickers transfer the text add more pictures and our options now this up the website will print too but I have not printed anything from it um, but they do like to do that we'll talk about Google Photos in a minute but if I go up here and let's say save image as Oh, and it will let you save to Facebook as well. Save in this as, we have our picture here. Let's hit save. And you see it's not asking us for our email address or anything. All it's gonna do is give us our picture, which is great. Cause like I said, there's a lot of websites that will let you do lots of free stuff. And then they're like, now what's your email address? And you're like, why do you wanna know that? So if I hit open, this is on my computer and there's our picture, okay? So I'm actually going to, well, let me, let me save this. And then we can use it for our other examples later. All right, so that's a big recommendation, photocollage.com, okay? Now, we do talk about Hang on, let's go back to let's see where it is now if you did want to take your pictures and we'll talk about you know printing our pictures more another really fun project is to basically come up and do basically like a decoupage which can give you some good ideas about that. Taking some pictures, taking some other stuff, kind of this is one that's really interesting. And they actually take some, uh, well they're taking, um, I gotta describe this, what's the best way to do it. They're taking, you know, some small little pro projects, maybe you see like at a project store or something, the idea is maybe to print, to, to paint on it or something, but we can actually come up with some ideas to actually take something and to basically hook it to it. I've seen ones where someone has done like a coffee table for like a um, child or something, taking a bunch of, you know, kid-friendly pictures from magazines and stuff and, you know, or pictures of them, basically decoupage it to a table and then put a very thick uh, lacquer on top of the table so it's, you know, cut-friendly and stuff. Maybe it's like in a playroom. And we're going to come up and do kind of a neat thing here. Let's see how long that's going to take. Cut it out. Okay. We move on to our next one here. 
This is wikihow.decoupage from wikihow.forward slash decoupage. All right, we got our decoupage glue put on the surface, and then basically they kind of glue it to, I think this goes a little bit longer than that, to basically take whatever it is. Like we should have some kind of making music. Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. And there you go. And then basically just do the same process all the way around then you have a nice nice little gift like I said imagine this is kind of being pictures instead of you know just like a nice tablecloth or something just talking about wooden furniture prime it get it ready clean it real good got our materials It's interesting. I would kind of like I said, like a uh, you know coffee table sur um, surface for like kids or family or something like that. Anyway, it goes into a whole bunch of stuff here, as you can see, pots, all kinds of great stuff. Lots of great information on that site. All right, so. Now let's look at our next part here. Let's talk about printing services, okay? So first, let's go to Let's see, we're going to look at an album. So this we're going to go to our Going to go to Google Photos. I've already made an album for us to look at. This is called Plant. <laughs> and one of the things is it'll come down here and it'll actually talk about our photo book, okay, photo prints, and also printing a canvas as well of our picture, okay. Now, some good things about this is um, basically the the websites will help you figure out what the the by and by dimensions for the pixels that we talked about earlier. So if you are choosing something that's maybe a little bit higher resolution uh, than you want it to be, and it may look blurry, it'll actually let you know. Now remember, a smaller picture, you can't make larger and look good. But of course, you can take a large picture and make it smaller, and it will look good, OK? So if we go up here to our shop section, You'll talk about photo prints and we'll talk about our other photo book in just a little bit but let's do photo prints so we've got our pictures it kind of recommends four by six we can tell how many that we want adjusting and it does have a little bit of editing on there uh, just kind of like I talk about the other class do you realize that if you think something if you print something that comes back maybe too too dark in some way or maybe too bright it may be because you're computer screen is not exactly calibrated um, maybe you have the brightness set uh, set higher than maybe it should be or something You're like well this picture looks a little a little dark than I thought it would but you can go right there so if we go and say we'll do next it'll actually come up and the interesting thing about the Google one and I'll do our area code the interesting thing is that the Google one actually pops up and you're thinking, oh, well, Google's going to print these pictures. No, actually, it's connected up with like CVS, Walgreens, uh, maybe another place that's near you, but Walgreens, CVS. So you are still getting it printed at a local place 
um, it's not actually coming in the mail at least for this for this pickup it doesn't have to okay now let's talk about some of our other ones ways that we can print as well so let's talk about some printing ideas Uh, one of them that I see a lot is a unique one. It's actually called Fracture. You may have seen a commercial for that. I have not personally used them, but it's a very interesting idea. So, and of course, there you go. Right now they're showing some, some uh, uh, prices that are cheaper there too. And I think last time I was here, they had a little video. Now, the interesting thing is, I will tell you, this is a little pricey compared to what I'm going to talk about a little bit later. So kind of a medium print. So you see, that looks pretty, fairly large there. You know, $45 or so, something that's kind of smaller, uh, $17 or so. But the interesting thing about this is, it's actually printing on glass. And they actually print it here in the U.S., and let's see, last time I was here, there was a nice, um, let's see, video. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do glass prints. So basically, you choose your picture. It is frameless, so remember, you're not going to be spending money on a frame, which is a benefit. Um, so it kind of gives it a new look. All right, seven by nine right there. Let's see, four by six. Now remember my less than ten dollar printing a eight by ten, making a collage, printing that. So just kind of have that in mind. So if you are talking about, um, I don't want to spend a lot of money on this, but I want it to be a very customized project, then this is might be the way to go. Okay. Uh, the, the one I talked about earlier <laughs> might be the way to go because this can actually get a little bit expensive here. So, uh, talking about the 5x5. Five five. So, you're thinking about that, just realize kind of a 4x6 photo. Okay. Let's see, for 20, so we actually see it in the real life. So, that's 45. But remember, it is a very unique gift. And I, if I can find the video, I'll show it in just a second. That it act, you have to realize this are photos actually printed on glass. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So, well, hang on. Maybe that's where it has the video of it. It shows our picture, talks about the glass, how it puts the color ink on the glass, and then you get a nice background, and it actually puts white behind the glass, which is actually interesting. Every Fracture Print starts with a moment. Each day, our entire team comes together to help you capture those moments by printing your photos directly on a glass. This is how it works. My name is John Mamo, and I am the stocking manager and the machine room manager. Everything we make starts out as large sheets of durable glass, which arrive at our workshop along with raw materials for the hanging hardware, backing, and packaging. And it's all put together by hand right here in Gainesville, Florida. We turn those sheets of glass into all of our fracture print sides by scoring the glass and snapping it by hand, all while reducing waste. Next, we soften the edges of each piece with a grinder to make it safe to handle and create a soft, rounded highlight on the edge of each print. Once that's done, we'll clean off all of the dust and particles with our heavy-duty washer. At the same time the glass is being prepared, our team uses a special cutter which creates matching sizes of our backing material, which will be adhered to the print later in the process. Now it's time to print. Okay, the first part of the printing process is that we lay the glass down directly onto the print bed and the printer shoots directly onto the glass. It shoots every color except for white, and the UV lamp instantly cures that ink on there. So as soon as I pick it up, that ink is dry and ready for the next step. 
In order to create rich and vibrant color with an additional layer of scratch protection, we add a thick layer of white ink onto the back of the glass after the image has been printed. We carefully inspect each print by hand, comparing it to your original digital image to ensure colors and contrast are accurate and everything looks great. Now we adhere your print with our mounting foam backs. This foam layer also adds more protection to keep the ink and glass from scratching or cracking. We do one final visual inspection of the print to ensure it's exactly what you want and send it off to be packed and shipped. I work in fulfillment at Fracture, primarily doing quality control, but also assembly and shipping. We developed our own packaging that minimizes waste and doesn't use styrofoam, packing peanuts, or even bubble wrap. All your prints are packed together safely and securely for their trip. That's the journey every Fracture print makes from our workshop team. We're here to help you celebrate your stories, moments, and adventures. We can't wait to see what you come up with next. So it is an interesting idea. Like I said, I haven't personally had one from them, but that was the kind of gift I was looking for someone. I think that would get it from them. All right, so let's talk about some of our other ideas that we have. You could do the photo collage that way, I guess, too. That would be an interesting idea. Now, let's talk about the other places we get printed. Now, this is one that I've ordered uh, at least twice from them with photos. This is an app that you, mostly it's an app. So this really has the convenience of, now, now what I'm talking about is we're actually gonna talk about businesses that you actually order from. And then one of the things is you have to wait till it to come in the mail, of course, uh, good or bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, so um, these are free prints. It's technically not free, it's just you have to pay what they call uh, the processing and shipping fee, okay? But it is an actual low cost, way to get a whole bunch of pictures. Basically talking about less than $10 for you know like uh, um, 80 pictures and I think they may have bumped it to a little bit more. The good thing about it is it's actually on, it, its main focus is to try to get pictures off of Facebook, social media places, but it's really easy just to get the pictures off your phone. So have a lot of pictures on your phone, you go, well I really wanna turn these into stuff. I just wanna do it pretty casually from home. Um, and then have them send it to me in the, in the mail uh, fairly quickly. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's look at our little video here. Are all your photos just sitting on your phone doing nothing? Print them with free prints and get them into your life. And here's the best part. Free prints lets you print them all for free. That's right, more than 1,000 prints a year for free. No subscriptions, no commitments. You just pay shipping. That's why we are free printers. <laughs> Get the free prints app for iPhone and Android at freeprints.com. So what they basically specialize in is once a month you can get like 80 pictures. There you go. They've switched it to 85. 85 pictures. Now they don't do doubles for the for the low cost price. So they charge a little bit more than that. Um, so here it is even even you know talking about that. So I think the cost that I bought, like 80 of them, I think it was like $9 or so. Um, it was actually a really, really good deal. So uh, the photos I got, I'd actually been printing on some of the kiosks for a while. And I thought the, the quality is pretty good, even it was the Kodak kiosks. But it does seem like this has a much higher quality than um, those instant, you know, an hour uh, kiosk deals. Now. Uh, some of the stores, of course, you're sending them the picture. I haven't personally done that. I've only done in in house or getting, um, uh, you know, of course the photos uh, from the old cameras and stuff uh, developed as well. But basically, the only thing you need to watch out for is that they'll kind of add some other stuff. You want additional, um, you know, photos. You want a doubles. You know, then you pay more than that. But it still seems their their price is very fair uh, for what you're getting. And they do kind of talk about different coupons and stuff as well. And basically that's the idea is that they're doing a very low cost price 
um, for, for for some stuff and the uh, the big benefits is kind of encourages you to do it once a month okay there's no monthly fees or anything like that it's just kind of way they're doing their business so they're kind of viewing themselves as a monthly you know get a whole bunch of pictures now the good part about this is it's fairly easy to basically just set up an account and then you can actually have a friend or family member download the app on there you sign into your account they can pick out all the pictures they want and then you know it's your account you know you just you you pay for it if you're doing it like a gift so you could even use this as a gift saying hey I'm gonna download this app on your phone I know you want to get a bunch of pictures to, you know done you're gonna get 85 pictures you choose the pictures and then let me finish it and I'll take care and pay for it and they'll ship them here so that could even be viewed as a gift telling someone saying hey for your birthday for the holidays or whatever it is I know that you don't print a lot of pictures but it really is neat to have pictures printed um, a lot of folks that they'll do is they'll do the fun uh, projects and I think I can show that real quick yeah so some of the the big projects now come on thing <laughs> okay so apparently Walmart's even selling one that um, I can see that's funny anyway so I've said I know someone that has gotten just some twine from the store and gotten some uh, laundry clips uh, there which is the funny thing is you're like do they do they really know what those you know originally do it doesn't matter still works get your photos printed put it on something like this this is some kind of one that actually has the lights on it too so that's kind of unique nice gift you know even to give somebody and then tell them you'll get a bunch of pictures uh, printed um, so that's kind of a neat gift idea as well pictures of them places they've been family their friends stuff like that so the sister um, of this website is actually and I should be able to yeah sister of this website is actually ones that not only are they printing um, the uh, well, I don't want to talk about photo books right now there it is the tile so I actually did do that so I actually did do that and I've gotten a few of these printed I actually have the plan on getting a few more printed as well so this is a kind of a night capture picture I took of a roller coaster going there and it's just kind of more of the memory of doing it being there with friends or family members and stuff so also printing and it actually looks really good uh, it was probably the total of like $8.95 um, I actually like the quality of it and it actually comes with little stickers on the back I've ordered uh, two of these so far one for a family member and the neat part about it they actually sent me a um, one that helps you measure it to keep it um, shoot leveler thank you so actually we like it so this is their tile and uh, you can get one of these a month for like less than nine bucks and they'll talk about oh add an additional one and all that so it does say free but you are paying something but I thought the quality was really nice and uh, kind of neat and they talk about making it you know kind of a fixture kind of putting it up and uh, having it it doesn't need a doesn't need a picture frame or anything like that. I think it looks quite nice. So I actually recommend that. So so this is the tile one. It's by the same company. They do want you to have a separate app, which was interesting. And of course, their focus is um, once a month uh, getting one of these. But they'll kind of upcharge you in a few places. Do you want to fancy your frame, which you don't see it? Uh, which is kind of interesting do you want a different finish all kinds of stuff like that but I've just gotten it so it's just kind of the basic one too and we'll talk about some of the other things that they they um, some other thing ideas as well now this actually is and if I can go to their website this is another idea and I haven't personally done this but it's really neat it's called ink okay and I actually did load download the app but I actually haven't used it which is kind of funny 
um, and their bottom line is basically two dollars. Now, what does the two dollars do? Well, the two dollars is you up you this again. This is in the app. You take a photo picture. Okay. Um, it's uh, it'll, I'll show you the pricing in just a minute here. And some of these you can actually put them in an envelope too. But the main idea is for it to be a, um, a, a like a postcard. Okay, that's really where they're coming from here is a postcard. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's click it. Okay, I guess the company is anyway. So it's called Postagram. Okay, even though it's by Ink, that's a little confusing. I guess they've just decided because my app just says Ink. Anyway, I guess they called this program Postagram. So basically, the deal with that is you basically choose, uh, make create a postcard from the picture that you want, and then you actually put a message on there. Okay, uh, you know it's a postcard. So anybody could read the message uh, and the really neat thing is they get it and it's only two dollars they ship it you give them the address and they'll actually ship it uh, to them so literally like tap tap you know put in credit card information you know for the first time you could tell it to save the credit card information if you wanted to and then when you're done you're actually sending them and the other neat part about it is if you do it once of course you tell it to save you can do it again uh, which would make it very easy uh, to be able to do that. So, let's see one thing here. So for two dollars with the app on the phone, two dollars, and they don't have a better explanation than that. Because the three dollars one is the one that it comes with uh, okay I guess they want us to look on the the app for it but anyway when I went here last time it explained it a little bit better so sorry about that but anyway it's a really neat idea sending something I guess just the pictures say a lot if you do want an envelope they charge I think that's the three dollar one that they charge for but the postcard two dollars and of course that they they're paying the shipping and all that stuff too Get it to somebody kind of a neat thing maybe say on the back hey thinking about you or there you go right there i guess someone could maybe even use this as their christmas cards or, or holiday cards or something in some way but it might be a little bit easier to get them all printed and, and ship them yourself but um that you'd have to look at i guess but anyway kind of a neat idea printing something in that way okay all right, so let's go ahead to our next part here. Let's see. Give you some good you know ideas all right so we've talked about many things we've talked about the printing at home we've also talked about the um, the Google photos a little bit talked about decoupage we've talked about you know sending it somewhere easily using Google and of course you could go to the individual websites too having it printed some good gift ideas so let's go ahead and let's go to one of the big websites that allow us to have a lot of choices and that's our Walmart site and the address we're actually going to be going to is photos.walmart.com and let's discuss so one of the big things I'll use this for is that it does allow us to kind of walk through the whole process and again the idea is that we've had our, our pictures we've edited our pictures we've organized our pictures we got our you know pictures off our camera off our phone we backed it up already and everything 
uh, part of our camera series and now we're going to talk about printing them giving them as a gift and there you go right there trust me these are gifts that people will not you know get rid of anytime soon now some of these seem a little silly and of course the classic one is a coffee mug <laughs> but someone may really really like that now I, oh, I see do see that they are having a bit of a sale the last time we were here some of these things I personally you know wouldn't really choose like a wall calendar kind of thing uh, for someone but some of the other things are kind of more unique and and every year they're also always coming up with something new putting somebody's picture on an ornament kind of cute maybe a pillow but the printing of the pictures something they can put on the wall maybe even just something they can you can give them in a frame having a frame or something like that now the idea with the photo books uh, for myself the big one is basically have little bits you could actually scan some of the old pictures uh, that you have maybe in a closet somewhere in the garage somewhere and then actually put those in the photo books organize it maybe even give them those people names that people don't really know and it could be something that maybe you could print more than one have extended family uh, maybe they don't uh, get to see the the pictures much you could share it of course on, on Facebook and social media and Instagram and all that kind of stuff or email it to them if they wanted to but being able to print something out maybe even make a family photo album and the best part about it is uh, since these are copies of the original pictures this is something that someone that's younger could look at sit and look at flip through touch and not just be like a box of pictures that you only pull out every once in a while oh, don't touch that it's an old photo it'll fall apart but these photo books and other things you know you can let the kids touch them as much as they want because it's a photo book uh, it's a copy of a copy so let's go ahead and of course here's some of the other you know ideas that may or may not be something you're interested in but let's go ahead and let's look at our printing of our photo books okay so if we hover up here it'll tell us deals pick here's ones to pick up today so if you go into the places like CVS photo target um, I'm thinking if Target does Target have I think our local targets I don't think they have a photo department anyway but um, I know our Walmart's do of course CVS is most of them do uh, but anyway you just have to look into it so talking about prints cards of course what we talked about holiday gift cards all that kind of good stuff here's our art all kinds of great idea specialty wall art mounted photos rustic wood prints I think I looked at that last time so it's printing on wood uh, but I don't think that that would be as vibrant as the other the the glass that we talked about and let's see natural wood premium wall tapestry hmm I guess that would be like a big poster situation I'm not really familiar with that so anyway so other wall art acrylic wall art Piled photos, there you go. Family collage. Overlays. So let's look at the graduation one. I wish they would show an example of it like on the wall. Oh. I guess that's kind of like glass. Okay, acrylic. Thought it meant that it would be I completely misunderstood that. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's see, eight by ten is like forty bucks. Interesting. It's pretty close to the glass price, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead. There's also blankets and stuff, mugs, and I will tell you this. Let's say you have a bunch of pictures 
and you do want it to be on something really large like this and you find out your pictures maybe you're not high enough resolution for that make it a collage um, and then you can actually get everything in there that you're kind of wanting there so other things plates I don't know if I go that far that's kind of funny here's posters getting them printed what would be uh, let's say uh, look at our posters here for a second okay so just really large photos would this be a cheap go oh, it looks like it is kind of a cheap gift right now that would be kind of neat let's see that's really not that bad hmm, 12 by 12 okay I'll have to look into that now I would still probably it would depend you know I could foresee someone making a kind of a silly poster for somebody that's really not that bad a price right there and then they could just use some of the uh, just tape it to a wall or use some of the poster uh, you know little uh, gummy stuff or posters and put on the wall somewhere that could be a really neat project kind of inexpensive oh, there's a neat banner banner price so we have a lot of different ideas now don't we there's a sign happy birthday engagement and remember you can customize these so they can say anything they want there you go this is kind of very popular this right here where basically you get a sign and it shows but the big one is showing the hashtag of the event so you basically encourage people to put stuff um, up on social media and like you know hashtag whatever it is of course they're posting pictures publicly they may or may not want to do that and birthday signs and yard signs and all kinds of stuff so poster is an interesting idea okay so let's go ahead and let's play around with our photo book a little bit and if we go in here let's look at our photo books let's, let's click photo book here and like I said it's a great idea to make now I tell you the, the personal story that I have is basically went to a went out of the country made some new friends and we're there a little while and one of the really neat things about it was I was actually sharing because we were we started traveling together with our new friends as well different places um, so we took a bunch of group photos and I actually shared uh, my photos uh, with them and even the cloud pictures I was taking so I was backing up pictures and sharing it with the cloud and when I was leaving or my family was leaving one of the neat things is one of them had actually taken a bunch of the pictures and including them too in, in places that we went and actually made our family a photo album and gave it to us when we were leaving so they had actually made a really neat photo book with pictures they took of us you know us traveling together and then gave it to us right when we left and it's something that's really really neat you know and uh, it was a really nice surprise too you know you'll have little trinkets you know I've been here kind of stuff but you know photos mean a lot so if we scroll down here we can actually see a little bit more information about our photos hardcover soft cover hardcover now the gift one the person gave us was actually a soft cover which is fine that fits very well on a shelf and if we scroll down here we can actually see the size talks about the type of binding that's on there there's your soft cover there's a lay flat so it just kind of bends out a little bit more premium lay flat oh so that's to make sure so if you have a big picture that's on both pictures I could see that it talks about the different kind of photo books and everything so let's look at our little video here we'll learn a little bit more
absolutely perfect. Some folks may work on something and then they're even buy something because they go, well, it's not as perfect as I want it to be. He goes, well, stuff doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So 8 by 11 here, we're getting into this, the $20 range. So let's go ahead and let's look at that. So I basically clicked the 8 by 11. So this is about the size of a piece of paper, okay? Kind of a smaller, uh, it's not a ginormous book or anything, and it's definitely not like four by six or anything. That they, they do have those, but if you're gonna go for it, go ahead and go for it. You see, this is one of the best sellers. Now, you can do full photo like this. Like how it does a little preview. You have the classic white background, and we're gonna talk about the different um, the different templates we can choose as well, okay? So you can give it a specific style. Uh, one of the things, again, this is one of those, maybe your pictures aren't as high resolution or you just want it to have a really nice style. Now remember, we're doing eight by, uh, eight by 11, so if you're printing pictures that are like four by six, that would probably be about this size on that sheet, of, that piece of paper there, you see, four by six, so this was, um, 11, excuse me, 8 by 11 here. I could see that this is about a, you know, 4 by half of that. So we have all these templates we could go ahead and pre-choose, okay? Give us some ideas with our pictures, and it keep, keeps going on and on and on. And travel ones, different fonts, but let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go, and we'll just choose the um, classic white right now. So let's click that. Now, it's gonna ask us some other questions here. Eight by 11, I'm gonna to try to get this kind of cheap. So, I wanna show something. This doesn't have to be a real expensive uh, gift. Their main thing is, is your time spent getting the pictures that you want to be in there, okay? So if we choose eight by 11, funny thing is last time we did the class, they actually had a sale on, I think it was like $11, certain ones. Let's look at our hardcover price. 19 so that's not that bad soft cover 15 leather super nice and there's the lay flat one that we saw much more expensive but let's just say soft cover okay so we can kind of get a little bit of view kind of a neat book Kind of like a child's uh, storybook, I guess you could say. Let's go ahead and hit create. All right, so let's upload our pictures. Very simple. Now, hopefully, in the since of course the the previous photography classes and stuff, you have your pictures ready. We're going to use our pictures here. All I got to do is just do the little check box next to our pictures. Let's do add. Oh, did it only let me upload three at a time? Okay, well, we just have to do it separately, or maybe I clicked something wrong. All right, well, we want more photos than that. Let's see, so we've got that's that one. soldier in there yeah I don't know why because usually it lets me choose a whole bunch at a time so it's important them there's our pictures okay I didn't get my soldier okay, I want my soldier I guess I just need to oh there he is okay so let's look at our, our cover here and I will tell you this let's go ahead and look at our designs first so if I go to designs, one of the things I show the designs because when we move our pictures over there, it can move our pictures around. We may not like that. So we can actually switch at any time to our different templates. So this is trying to make them really large pictures. Okay. Looks like it's still the um, same one, but anyway. Choose a different background. Yeah, 
endless love. Let's see. Lots of different choices here. Ah, so kind of interesting. The changing background. Little ghost. Now, the interesting thing about this is having some of these patterns on the background, this used to be the really big thing about scrapbooking. And I remember many years ago, I actually did take a scrapbooking introduction class uh, with, some, with, with some friends. And the interesting thing about that was, was the, um, the craft that went into it, having to buy the special backdrops and everything. And of course now, we can basically come up with that same concept, choosing a theme, choosing the colors in the backgrounds, you know, cheers. But now we're doing it virtually, and then it's printed on there instead of you printing your pictures and then making the background. So is the art choosing the art still there? Absolutely, it's still there. I don't really want anything romantic because we're just doing some just some basic pictures here. It's kind of like a tablecloth, doesn't it? Let's see. Usually there's like a wood grain or something. I kind of like that because it, it has a nice it has some nice texture to it. Eh. Let's see what else we got. And it might be a good good choice to try out some of the other um, places because they will have different templates. Let's see. Okay, so this kind of has like a wood grain kind of situation. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of stick with this. So this is our main cover here. So let's go back to our photos. Now, the interesting thing here is. We actually have, we've chosen a design, so that'll actually reflect the background a little bit, okay? But we also can choose our layout. So it actually shows the main sections here, our cover. So let's go ahead and let's get our, our picture on here. So we're just kind of kind of a beach theme. I think that's really nice to put on the front cover. And let's see, it's kind of neat. So if we actually added, let's see, gives us some choices, cropping, zooming in a little bit, changing the color tone a little bit, maybe black and white. Let's see, rotating our picture, brightness of it. I think it looks okay that way. Let's look at our text and let's just call it something fun day at the beach now I don't know why it's making it like that okay hold on where's my undo here it is all right so let's drag make it a little smaller Not really okay, they fixed it. All right, so it still seems quite large. Let's see, so how do I make our my actual text smaller here? Um, up, oh, that's uh, the layer is what it wants me to do. Okay, so if I make my does it not have the font selected? Don't think it's changing the fonts size there. Okay. All 
Okay. Move it up a little bit here. There you go. Stay at the beach. All right, so there's our cover. There's our back. Let's go inside. This is usually blank. And let's choose a different layout. And here's our here's our themes we can actually choose. So inside the theme here, it actually loads what the our choices are. Things a little dark. I want to choose something a little bit more woodsy here. So let's see what we got. We got one. I don't know why you'd want that. And you could, this one you could put some text on there. So let's do that one. I think that would be good. So how about we do loop and just drop it there. And there we go. We'll go to our next page. Choose this one. Let's choose our layout. Let's see. Now before we kind of showed, you know, it being like grandma well if you dragged this picture over okay and you type here see granddad all right so realize you you know you're typing on here and i want to choose a three level one keep going I'm sure it's going to show that so I want more than one picture on the screen if I keep scrolling it actually will show that on there keep going here there we go so it actually will start to show different more than one picture on the format it'll show two so right now it's showing one layout and then we can actually get two layout if we want to let's see let's do that one that looks pretty interesting let's go back to our photos Bloop and bloop. There you go. Next page. Let's go back to our layouts again. And right now we're on one photo, so let's scroll down. Oh, there's two, and I'll show the three one. Come on. There's two. All right, so I wait till it loads. All right, so there's three, and some of these are kind of interesting. This is one I thought if you do panoramas uh, shots, this would actually be pretty neat. I can't drag that there, or I already did, and it's loading. There it is. So if you do a bunch of panorama shots, that would be kind of a neat idea. But this is the one, let me see if I can choose one that's a little bit lighter in color. I mean, the, the black background may work well with like a black and white photo. And let's see, where's the one that it's... Yeah, I'm gonna try that one. So that's kind of like our own our own kind of mini collage on each page. So let's see. And it does kind of cut the pictures off a little bit, but if you don't like that, then do edit and then you can actually crop it a little bit better if you wanted to. Because it's trying to do in a little bit of style here. Yeah, it looks like it cut his head off, didn't it? Let's see, where's my, oh, didn't mean to, there you go, there you go, he 
and she needs it a little bit too. Oh, well that's the way it's cropped already. All right, and again, you can add text anywhere that you want on there. And we'll just drag some pictures here and you kind of get an interesting vibe going on here. This one, it needs to be more at the top. Yeah. Sometimes that's, that works, sometimes it doesn't too well. Maybe at the bottom. <laughs> uh, maybe you get real creative and put this here in the bottom there or something, I don't know. Anyway, so we have a bunch of pictures and we can do about 20 pages, okay? So it's not the um, the most like, you know, oh no, I got all these pictures. You know, we're not talking about, you know, a thousand pictures here. But let's go ahead and let's look at our next. I think that's really about all I can think about on there. It's just the interesting thing is choosing the template, what pictures you want, where you want them to be, what order, you know, and you could you could even have, um, you know, titles on certain pages. Like you could create a page here that shows the landscape picture, and then have the title underneath it, and then it's pictures, you know, places you've been. So here we are as our big preview here, okay. So again, we're talking about 20 pages of pictures, which is a lot actually when you really think about it. And remember, you can do the collage stuff, so you can have more than one picture, pictures together that are, you know, similar in some way. So let's do our add to cart. I know, and it warns me. It says some of the picture is actually blank, which I know that pops up and wants to me to ask the address and everything and it says um, the shipping and it also has a ship to site as well so if I actually chose ship to site it actually doesn't charge anything for shipping so if we wanted to make sure that we paid $15 for this and of course plus tax too now it should just show me Okay, so it pops up and asks me other information, but here's our delivery right here is $4. Taxes hasn't been added yet, but again, we're talking about a, a 19, you know, less than $20 total fee. But the delivery, you could pick it up in the store and it's free, but you see it, it takes a little bit longer, but this is kind of a, a cheap gift. So again, if someone says, hey, I'm looking for a cheap, you know, gift for a family member. Okay, go back. You go, well, you know that you can get your a photo book together, pictures you've probably taken or they've taken, you know, and then give it as a gift. And it can be very inexpensive. Okay. So, hopefully, I've given you a whole bunch of really good ideas. Okay. Realize that it's not a very you know high price gift that we're talking about. A little bit of time. It's something that they'll really keep. Now, personally, I know one time I was getting some uh, pictures together, and actually in the store they actually had a cup. This is at uh, Walmart. Actually, they had a cup that had um, a way that you take the pictures, you put it in there, and it was plastic, and you screwed it back together. So it was like a drinking cup. Now, I, the person I gave the gift to, I didn't think that was really kind of their style, but I felt like that might be something they could have on their desk, maybe on a shelf or something like that, and have a picture. And it was a picture of them, a few things they had accomplished throughout the year. So it probably meant a lot to them 
you know, having the picture. It meant a lot to me, and it's kind of, you know, congratulations, you know, on that. So there you go right there. So hopefully our, my class has given you lots of great ideas, printing stuff. You know, it's not an expensive gift. People look at it an all lot, and a lot of the times they go, wow, they spent a lot of time, you know, getting this together and everything, and it's something that they'll have, you know, um, kind of forever. People keep thank you gifts, you know, even Christmas card, birthday cards, and stuff like that, and even making a, a, a customized one, too. I've even, um, a few years ago, just basically got a few pictures printed up, and the the card, I actually put, you know, like, happy birthday, and had their and had the year on there and stuff like that. And it was a picture of things that we had done together throughout the year. So it was more than just a birthday card. It actually had some funny, silly things going on in the pictures too in places we had been. So it made it a little bit more special, um, I think. So uh, hopefully I've given you some uh, really good ideas. Printing, it's really not that expensive to do it. Uh, the, you know, the quality is there some ideas, you know, maybe even, you know, spending a little time getting some of our projects together like this, like the the tiles and stuff, but there's many companies out there and you may be receiving, uh, you know, near the, the holidays and stuff, you may be receiving some coupons uh, for some of those, maybe, maybe like a buy one, get one or something, and just try it out. The biggest learning thing is to sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm going to get all these pictures together. I'm going to order this. That's really what takes the most time. Okay. So hopefully I've given you some good ideas and we have covered a lot in this class. So any other questions? And we will finish up class and I'll talk about some of the classes we have coming up and of course tomorrow as well. So a really neat thing that we're going to be doing tomorrow is a little bit different. Most of our classes are here, of course, on our YouTube channel, but tomorrow we're going to do a special gadget help at 11 o'clock on Facebook Live, on the Harlem Facebook Live page, so come join me with that. If I don't get many questions, I'll go ahead and start talking about our Libby service, and I'll also be talking about our um, other resources that we have at our library, so definitely come join me for that, 11 o'clock on the Harlem, uh, the Harlem, Georgia library page. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to be doing a Raspberry Pi computer projects with me, Alex. And at 1230, we're going to be, um, excuse me, 1230. And on the 12th at um, 11 o'clock, we're going to be doing Let's Talk About Libby. And then we're talking about some of our other li free library resources. And too, happy to answer any questions that you have. And then Thursday afternoon, we're going to be doing App Swap. So come join me for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to learn a whole bunch of stuff about all kinds of different apps. If you want to share some apps and stuff, um, you know, come along, post something in the comments. It'll be really interesting. And of course, we have some of our uh, buying and selling stuff, holiday gift ideas, and also some Thanksgiving uh, projects as well. And again, our, our library has switched over from RB Digital to Libby. So do realize, just download the Libby app. Don't search for Columbia County Library, Harlem Library, or Grovetown Library. Search for Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System. And then choose Georgia Download Destination and enter your library card, okay? Then you'll be able to have access. Our libraries are open with limited service and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. Thank the librarians for that great service. Order the books, you can go and they'll bring them out to your car. You can go to gchrl.org for details. By the way, you can do, you know, you can open your trunk and they'll come out and put the books in your trunk and then uh, close your trunk and you can drive off. You can call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said, right now we're having a subscribe drive, so if we can get 100 people, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we'll get our own customized YouTube address. If you're looking for our YouTube channel, the easiest way to find it is search YouTube for GCHRL videos, and it'll pop right up. So hopefully you learned a lot, we covered a lot, gave you some neat ideas, okay, with the little tiles and stuff, and 
kind of sent you in the right direction. I may even look into a little bit more about the poster thing. That looks like a very inexpensive gift and it would be really fun. And the big thing about that is it may not need a, a frame or anything like that, just something that someone can tape to a wall or use some of that tacky stuff to, to put on a wall. And it's a really big uh, picture of family and stuff like that. Or landscapes, went somewhere and took a picture of a landscape, use that. All right, thank you for joining me today for our class. Look forward to seeing you in another class. Have a great day. Um, it's November now, Ooh, so getting ready for idea of Thanksgiving. You might be doing Zoom Thanksgiving. We'll see. <laughs> um, but, uh, or, you know, FaceTime Thanksgiving. But stay safe. Uh, look for great projects. Have fun getting ready for decorating for the holidays and everything. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>